All right. I think I'm about ready to get started. Thanks, everyone, for uh, tuning in, whoever is on there. I am just getting my windows ready in case anyone wants to chat, but hopefully everyone can hear me correctly while I play Ringworld. So for those of you who don't know, Ringworld was released in 1992 by Tsunami Media, which was made up of ex-Sierra Online employees. So uh, they got together, decided to make their own uh, adventure games, uh, and the music that you're hearing right now is Ken Allen, who did a bunch of music for Sierra games as well, which is why it's awesome. So let's start with the introduction. So we're going to get some credits first. And uh, this game does not have uh, voice acting, or at least the version that I have does not have voice acting. This was a disc release. So I will do my best to try and not butcher the pronunciation of any names while I read it out. There's Ken Allen. the sprite scaling here. I don't think it's actually... Well, maybe it's actually scaling it. Or they did it just by scaling the sprites individually, I'm not sure. Palace of the Patriarch, Kazinti Homeworld. Puppeteers, the audacity of using Kazin for a genocidal breeding experiment. They shall not live to regret it. So the Kazinti, I think, were actually the um, influence for the bad guys in the Wing Commander series. By your command, Lord Vishka. Centurion Satra. The hour of our revenge is at hand. The puppeteers and all who have aided them shall pay for their manipulation of the Kazinti Empire. For some reason, I can't remember the name of the bad guys from Wing Commander right now. We have openly cooperated with the United Nations of Earth. Kilrathi. That was it. This coalition has built a vessel powered by the hyperdrive technology revealed to Louis Wu and the traitor Chmi. Chmi with three Ds. The coalition ship will be the fastest vessel in known space, and the fools intend to waste it on peaceful exploration. So these guys are basically cat Klingons. What they do not know is that we have secretly built a second identical ship. And ours is a ship built for conquest and revenge. You, Centurion Satra, shall command the Kazinti Hyperdrive 2 Starship Destroyer. Okay, so Destroyer is not an ominous name or anything. It's my honor to wield the claws which exact your vengeance, my king. Your task is threefold. First proceed to Wakai Rift, where the traitor Chmi collaborates with the UN. The Ruch La is laid upon the family Chmi. All must die for their treason. So I'm guessing Ruch La is like a like a fatwa, like a holy war or something, maybe? The ground shall run red with the lifeblood of the family Chmi. Secondly, seek out and destroy the puppeteer homeworld. The destroyer has been fitted with a slaver disruptor cannon capable of disintegrating an entire planet. Oh, lovely. Puppeteers shall pay with their lives for their meddling. I am your strong right arm, Lord Vishka. This is a lot of backstory for the bad guys, considering we definitely play as a human in this one. Finally, we return to Wakai Rift and come in. Commandeer the Coalition Hyperdrive. Ship, the details of your assignment are contained in the info disc which you have been given. Like, you think we would get a lot of backstory for the humans, but no, we get a lot of backstory for exactly what the bad guys are doing. Go now and restore the honor of the Empire of Kazin. Wakai Rift. 
transport flight speeds towards Sokai Rift, the site of this coalition hyperdrive project, carrying a youth passenger, an old friend of Louis Wu named Quinn. That's me! I'm Quinn. Looks over the terrain with the practice eyes of a mercenary. I've got a sweet jumpsuit on. While Booster Spice has allowed his body to remain young in spite of 200 years of soldiering, it is his mind which has kept him alive. Oh man, I'm old. Quinn's thoughts tumble through the tangled web of events which have overtaken him. What what tangled web events? Only Lewis we would send me in just in case I disappear, read this info disc, and then disappear. Ah, those events. Only he would drop me in the middle of a pack of suspicious Kazinti so I could warn one of them of a danger which may or may not exist. Oh well, what are friends for? I hope Chimi's in a hospitable mood. I'd hate to have to use my stunner just to persuade him to give me a hearing. All right, here I go. All right. Okay, keyboard show. Cut sound options, quit, restart. Okay, F5 is save game. F6 is restore game. A little bit different than Sierra. So I guess I will save my game. Saved. All right, let's see what's going on. Okay, so I can look, walk, touch, talk, inventory, and oh, okay, menu system. Oh, I think that's the uh, logo of the company. All right, what do I have? I've got a gun, a stunner, combination scanner comm unit, and a ring. Signet ring sent to you by Louis Wu. Okay, can I use this? No, nope. let me. Walls of the home of the family Chmi, she, more like the walls of the home of a fort. Door looks like it's made of titanium. Looks like one of those new doorbell beams. Okay, so I, do I walk through it? No, I can't do that. Ah, there we go. State your business, human. I like how he's a cat, but he's got fish ears. My name is Quinn. I'm here at the request of Louis Wu to deliver a message to me. I'm 200 years old, so I'm obviously using just for men. Touch of gray, though. I've got a bit of gray. What proof of that do you have, human? Oh, I've got his ring. Formidable looking creature. Oh, maybe I'm racist. My father has spoken of the crest on this ring. Louis Wu has indeed sent you. I am Yak, Captain, second son of Chmi. My father has been missing for some time. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It might be Latch, but I think it was Yak. Then I am too late to deliver the warning. Thank you for your time, Yak Captain. One well, moment, Quinn. The family Chimi would value any information you might have regarding our father. Enter human, we must talk. It's a very big size difference between me and this uh, Kazinti. Centurion Satra to flight, all within these walls under Rukia. Let no one escape. Huh. Well, here come the bad guys. What do you know of my father? Not much, I'm afraid. I received a message packet which indicated that Louis Wu had disappeared. Packet contained a signet ring, travel pass, and an info disc with several files concerning a trip taken by Louis Chimi to a place known as the Ring World. Here to warn Chmi of a potential threat from whoever is responsible for Wu's disappearance. Why should you do this for Louis Wu? And let's be friends. What do you know of the danger facing my father? Only what's on the disc. I wish I had the disc. Apparently I left it on my ship. Louis Wu's knowledge of the ring world and the prototype hyperdrive 
two ship gave him cause to fear for his safety. I am his insurance policy. Oh, hi, Sox. My father had concerns as well. He believed that by involving his family in the prototype project, we would be safe. I am the test pilot for the prototype. Oh, so this guy flies the big ship around. What were the circumstances right now? Yes. Whoa, shit. Brother assassins. Oh, that's a dead kitty. This guy looks mean. Yeah, no shit. Oh. Oh, he got me. Oh, well, game over. <laughs> I didn't know I was controlling. Oh, hey, Cone, you're watching as well? Sweet. It appeared the assassin has succeeded in fulfilling the Patriarch's wishes. And it tells me that I'm a shitty mercenary. Okay. Uh, let's go again. All right, so. Yeah, the music's awesome in this. Blah, blah, blah. I also really like these dialogue portraits. I was always a big fan of really detailed dialogue portraits back in the day. Uh, Quest for Glory 4 had really good ones. Okay, we heard all this before. In my headphones, there's actually a lot of bass to this music. I don't know if... Uh, if that's coming across in the YouTube or not. But it's actually pretty bassy. Yeah, it won't let me save right now. Oh, now I can. Perfect. So save that. Sucker. Brother Harak is dead by the Rukla. Yeah, we must flee or die with him. At least I know why Lewis chose me. Mercenary is his insurance policy. Ooh, what's this? Info disc and a stunner. Oh yeah. Give me that info disc. He's still stunned. Can I get Okay, well, let's save this. Oh shit. Let's go investigate the shots. Main house. Yeah. Oops. No, it's not letting me do anything. I think I'm just gonna have to run. Cut down before you can make it through the door. Okay, let's get out of here. What are we waiting for? Let's get out of here Be the, the others claw into us. We have a problem. This is the only cycle that contains a security disc. They may try to follow us in one of the others. Okay. A fly cycle. Oh, set that one to slave and maybe it'll follow. Uh, socks, yes, I am using DOSBox. Mass. Oh. Maybe I have to. Oh, look at the disc! Oh, sweet, there's a message. By decree, the Royal Patriarch Empire of Kazin, His Royal Majesty Vishka of the House of Kree, centurion known as Satra, is hereby commanded to proceed with the execution of the following decrees, bans, and orders. Yeah, Cone, um, the, uh, the Kazinti uh, from Ringworld were actually the main inspiration for the Kilrathi and Wing Commander, I believe. 
The Ruchia is hereby decreed against the family Chmi for traitorous acts against the Empire of Kazin. Land, servants, slaves, as well as any and all properties are henceforth forbidden to the Empire. Uh, race known as Pearson's Puppeteers is hereby placed under ban. This is what it said in the intro. So we're going to kill the Puppeteers. And then we're going to go and commandeer the prototype Hyperdrive 2 ship. Okay. Oh, nice! I think we escaped. Yeah, Sox, I'm not sure if it has a theater mode, sorry. Maybe I should be using Twitch? I don't know, I, I could stream to Twitch, I think, I just have never set it up. Uh, I'll take care of the guard. I do not believe that was a wise decision, Quinn. Yeah, let's try talking our way in. We have urgent business inside the facility. Open the gate immediately. I do not know you, human. I must see your orders. Can I give him this? Oh, shit! I guess he put us in a bubble? It's so creepy when you die. Like, that is some... Perhaps a human would be better off letting Kazinti deal with their own kind. Okay, I guess I just have to let him. Okay. Let's go back and... Okay, so we gotta set this one to slave so it follows us. Yeah, Socks, you can tell it was uh, made by ex Sierra employees because you can die like instantly over and over again. Okay, so can I put, can I change the. No, I, I have to put the disc in and. It. it won't let me switch it back to master. Ah, there we go. It's like the Dark Souls of DOS games. See, I'm not that good at Dark Souls, but I'm I've I've gotten good. I I can get good on uh, the uh, adventure games cut my teeth on Sierra ones, so. Alright. Let's let Yak Captain deal with this. Regular view puts the chat beside the video. Oh, okay. Yak Captain, there are no flights scheduled for today. Please state your business. We have brought a fly cycle for one of the engineers, some sort of malfunction with the drive unit. We shall drop it off at the hangar and be on our way. Very well, Yacht Captain. Please let us know when you leave the facility. Oh, that was easy. I shall be certain that you are aware of our departure. I shall indeed. Yeah, because we're going to depart in the ship. I like how the force field had a scary face on it. She'll disable the containment field and then use the extra cycle to crash through the hangar door. Oh, shit. Oh, look at this awesome paint and background. Smash! Follow me into the ship. If we can close the hatch before they reach us, we shall be safe. Two eight, yak. One, two of them are right behind us. You stun them. I'll secure the hatch. Okay, let's see if I can. Can I save? Oh, he's really moving quickly there, just moseying along. Let's save that. Oh shit, here they come. Nice. Well done, Quinn. You dispose of the guards while I get us into orbit? Meet me on the bridge as soon as you're finished. We must leave orbit immediately. Planetary defense forces will be quick to react. 
You're the pilot. Ooh, who's this? What brainless idiot powered up this ship? I'm up to my elbow in plasma flow regulators and the circuits go live. I could have lost an yacht captain? What do you think you're doing? Have you lost your feline mind? She's got some fierce eyebrows. Let's just say we're practicing emergency egress procedures. Who the tang are you? Name's Quinn, and you are... I like how I don't have a last name. Everyone's got these elaborate names, and I'm just Quinn. Erg, she is Miranda Rees, Chief Engineer of the Hyperdrive 2 Project. Now stop your babbling, I must activate the hyperdrive. Activate the hyperdrive, planetary defense forces. You're stealing this ship. She just like goes back down into the hatch? Like, why didn't I stun her? This is planetary defense force flight leader. You have no flight authorization codes. Power down immediately and prepare to be boarded. My ship looks like a nacelle. It's like part of the Enterprise. This is Centurion Satra, commanding the Royal Kazin Starship Destroyer. Oh, he looks lovely. You survived my attack on your home, Yacht Captain. You shall not escape me again. You are still under Rook Ya. Prepare to die. Not today, Centurion. We shall meet again. When we do, it is you who shall die. Oh, Yacht Captain's really uh, witty there. Traitorous monkey lover. I like how that's the insult. Quinn, where's Miranda? She's not to be trusted until she knows the truth of our situation. I'll find her. And yeah, she's busy building stuff. Miranda, stop. What are you doing? I'm gonna keep tearing this ship apart until you turn us around. By the time I'm finished, rowboats could catch us. Talk all you like. I'm not stopping. Stop, Miranda. You don't know what you're doing. I'm keeping you from taking this ship. The only way you'll stop me is to stun me senseless. So either turn the ship around, use that stunner, or put it away and let me finish tearing the guts out of this hyperdrive. Alright. Well, I'm gonna save is. One thing I've learned from CR games is keep multiple saves because you never know when you didn't pick something up. Stand aside, Quinn. She's done enough damage. Sorry, she's disconnecting fibers in the hyperdrive control cert. I think I can put it back together. Take Miranda to the auto dock when you're finished with the repairs. Maybe there, and she'll decide what to do with her. I feel like I could have done something there. Ah, yeah, well, let me load right now. Oh, let me see. I think the fiber optic lead layout color key was on page 12 of that manual I haven't looked at yet. Oh, geez. Okay, I'm going to have to find a PDF of the uh, manual, I think, because this looks like... Here, let's pause this. Sorry, this is going to be a really bad stream while I go into Google and try and find uh, the copy protection. <laughs> let's see here. Ring World Manual PDF. Oh, awesome. There it is. Look at that. Here, let's see if I can drag this over into the screen. There it is. So, here's the manual. It said page 12, right? You can, it looks like the... Uh, colors are on here so page 12 here it is orange yellow red blue green that's 12 right sorry you can't see the number there it is 12 orange yellow red blue green okay let's get rid of that or oh orange grab the grab the orange one Orange. Yeah, no, get the fucking yellow. Yellow. Red. Blue, green. Answer does have to be RGB cone. There, that ought to do it. Yeah, socks, this is so dirty. Pirates like myself can't copy the game, right? I need the manual. I used to have a box full of photocopied manuals at home, all the Sierra games. And each one of them was in a separate duotang. 
I had photocopied manuals and I had photocopied gaming, PC gaming magazines that had uh, walkthroughs and other hints. You'll never get away with this. You'll have the entire arm and Consinti Empire chasing you down. Being hunted by the arm is nothing new to me, but believe me, I'm not eager to have the Kazinti Empire after my hide. Patriarch has gone mad. He intends to obliterate the puppeteer's fleet of worlds. There's a death sentence on Yak Captain. Proof, you idiots. I want proof of what you say. It's time to put up or shut up. Otherwise, you better leave me in here, because as soon as I get loose, I'll disable this ship. Oh, I gotta give her that disc. You know me, Miranda. I'm no thief. You must listen to what this human and I have to say. Printing them off on old dot matrix and putting them in duo tanks. Yeah, I did the same thing. Socks. Except uh, I just got my dad to photocopy them at work. Give it up, Captain. I didn't think a Kazin was capable of lying, but unless you have proof, I'm not interested in anything either of you have to say. Well, Quinn, what do we do now? We have to get her on our side. We need to show her some proof. All right, so let's save this game again. Info just to, oh look, that looks like I can operate it there. Miranda doesn't look too happy about the whole situation. Oh, sweet. Look at this sweet, like, system. The screen comes down. I want one of these in my bed. This is impossible. The Patriarch would never attempt such a thing. That's the Patriarch's seal on the document. Royal seals can't be faked. Yeah, my document has a picture of a royal seal. It is 100% real. The Patriarch is crazy. Pledge on your honor that you will not attempt to sabotage or impede us in any way, and we shall release you. Impede you? I want to help you. Ah, uh, sweet. Now she gets to chill on the bill. bridge with us later. We have to assume that the destroyer might reach the fleet of worlds ahead of us since they aren't chasing us. As things stands, we can't overtake the destroyer because our drives are identical. Any suggestions? From this moment forward, I am no longer a yacht captain. I renounce the name given to me by a patriarch who has dishonored his people. I am now Seeker of Vengeance. I shall earn a new name from a patriarch worthy of bestowing such honor upon his servants. Man, I wish I could change my name to something sweet like Seeker of Vengeance. This ship which carries us shall be called the Lance of Truth. Honor requires that we find a means to overtake and capture Destroyer. <laughs> oh good lord, what's that? Quinn's looking up weird YouTube things again. Pearson's puppeteer, or at least a hologram of one. I am hindmost. The puppeteers require your assistance. It would be most wise if you listen carefully to what I have to say. We have been monitoring you since your rather hasty departure from Wakai Rift. I'd hazard to guess that the Kazinti would be very interested in your current location. In exchange for your help, we will refrain from providing the Kazinti with your location. So they're blackmailing us. What do you want from us, grass eater? Certain items on the ring world which we would very much like to see. You will proceed to the coordinates I shall give you, retrieve the items, and bring them to the fleet of worlds. I think you're shy a couple of puzzle pieces, pal. I do not understand. Even if we do go to the ring world and get your items, it is very likely there will not be a fleet of worlds to deliver them to. Kazinti Patriarch has sent a warship named Destroyer to obliterate your precious fleet of worlds. You should add the destruction of that ship to your tasks as well. These guys are dicks. No wonder they want to be destroyed. Exchange will help you find Louis Wu and Chmi. They're somewhere on the ring world. Should you fail in any of these tasks, I can assure you the puppeteers will deal most severely with you and the remainder of your species. So basically, if we don't do what they tell us, they're going to kill all of humanity? Ask a great deal and offer little in return. You must guarantee that the Rukia against us is lifted and that the Patriarch Vishka will be deposed. Then we'll help you. Agreed. Be quick about your tasks. I have much to do to prepare for the Destroyer should you fail. Hang on a second. According to the information Wu left me, this ring world is no place to fool around with. We could all be killed. That is true. You may very well pay with your lives. I managed to stay alive a long time by being very careful about when and where I make my stands. Choices 
yours, die at the hands of the Kazinti, or live by your wits and the whims of fate on the ring world. Guess our choice is pretty obvious. Moo's files do indicate the presence of quite a bit of advanced technology on the ring world. That's probably what the puppeteers are after. Those two-headed freaks do have a fondness for shiny new technology. I'll bet my socks <laughs> that whatever the puppeteers are after will also be very useful in dealing with the destroyer. Wormwall remains at the center of all this. It is the only common link between Wu, my father, and these prototype ships. We also know now that Wu and Shmi are somewhere on the ring world. Excuse me. Assuming the puppeteer was telling the truth, I shall set our course for the ring world. That thing is huge. Can our scanners tell us anything? Seeker, the deep space scanners indicate unusual contacts. There are several contacts in close proximity. If you can call several thousand miles apart close on screen. Stasis field reflections. Look at the readings on the largest contact. It could be a starship. Data does indicate sufficient mass. So the ring world's basically a giant halo before halo. The wall of the ring is incredible. My ship looks pretty phallic from that angle. the wall of the ring which prevents the atmosphere from escaping. That would explain the tremendous size. Sensors indicate the approach of a projecting ledge. It must be a spaceport. This game just goes and goes. Like, it doesn't give you any chance to, like, sit down and look around and solve puzzles. Like, every single time I've actually had control, I've had to, like, quickly do something or die. I shall find a landing area near the inner edge of the spaceport. We shall set down. I'm hoping that eventually it's going to settle down and I'm going to have to just solve some puzzles. Pretty good production values, though. Our ship looks so tiny. And still looks, it literally looks like a nacelle off the Enterprise. Just a solitary one floating around. We shall use the lander for exploration of the surface. The lance should be safe here. Ah, there goes my little three pixel lander. I want to explore that other ginormous ship, but apparently not. Oh sweet, these guys look awesome. I hope I get to stun them. I suggest we use the god gambit approach on these primitives. A little fear may work well to our advantage. I'm guessing that means like pretend we're gods. It worked well enough for my father and Louis Wu on their first visit here. So who gets to play god? Hopefully these particular villagers have never seen a Kazin. Let's give it a shot. After you, sky god.
these villages are enormous. I hope the Sky God's charade works. If the God Gambit fails, we can always use our stunners. I am the Sky God Seeker of Vengeance, sent to see if you're worthy of the God's continued sufferance. The mother of the Sky Gods has tested you. She dropped a silver egg down from the sky for you to care for. Sky Silver, Sky Mother, Cha Keep. This is good. I'll look upon the Sky Mother's egg. Devil from the Far Arch it is a devil with many fangs and claws. People in the canyon are afraid of this screaming devil. Devil is sent to test your courage. Take us to see the Sky Mother's egg and I will capture the screaming devil. Go capture the devil first. Ease the fears of the people in the canyon. Take me to the place where the screams of the devil are heard. Sky Silver waits for your return. Until then, only the Olagakak gotch may gaze upon it. We wish to see the Sky Silver. Only that dude can grant permission. Take us to speak with him. Olagakak, the holder of the key to the sacred tech and guardian of the Holy of Holies, greets you in the name of the Sky Silver. For a thousand fathers and sons of the priests of people in the canyon have kept the sky silver sacred. I bring you greetings from the sky mother. I am called Quinn. This is Miranda, who also serves. It would please us to examine the sky silver. This one has been charged never to let anyone enter the presence of the sacred sky silver unless they know the secret of the tech. You are the holder of the secret. I guard it with my life. The secret is kept in the holy of holies. Secret of the tech is what makes this a holy place. Some help to the sky gods. This one will now try to serve the sky gods. Meet with us. We should learn of you. Please come to this one's humble dwelling place. I'd like to share strong drink with you, but regrettably it is not the season. Rock that safeguards his people. Perhaps later I can find strong drinks suitable for men to share. This one would be most pleased if I were so. This guy's an alky. I think you're getting the hang of this sky god business, Quinn. Politics, Miranda. You just need to know who's palm to grease. Hey, I have control again. Let's save, first of all. It's Miranda. Jars are made from clay. They probably hold wine and other storable items. It's rock that safeguards its people. Mortar and pestle. Nearly identical to the one you've seen in museums on Earth. Water must be pretty scarce around here. It's possible the chief is the only one in the village. Ladder. Sitting area probably reserved for the chief. Lamp fire. Don't look at me, Sky God. I'm I'm just she who also serves, remember? No use to you. You have all the water you need back of the ship. Surely a sky god has no use for such a thing. Hmm, interesting. I wonder if I can get that ladder at some point. Hopes you'll treat his dwelling as your own sky god. Kuin and Sky God Servant Miranda. Your hospitality is a true gift. What can you tell us of the Sky Silver? We sent generations ago and is guarded by the tech. Our priest holds the secret of the tech. Tell me the secret of the tech. Can you arrange for us to see the Holy of Holies? That's what she said. This one regrets that it cannot be done. Only the priest may enter the Holy of Holies. Rock that safeguards his people has prayed that Ku Win will find the strong drink. <laughs> so I gotta go get this guy liquored up. Finally, a puzzle. Simple force field. This card seems rather bored. I'd like to see this guy silver. Do you guard this guy silver? Watch for danger to threaten the peace. The tech guards the sky silver, so that's the force field. This is what canyon people call the tech. Hmm. 
Hmm. Five holes in the tech. Four pigs with detailed carvings on the heads. Okay, so I have to like recreate their solar system or something. my tricorder on it. A simple force field. Thanks, tips. Your scanner reveals nothing out of the ordinary. Door to someone else's house. Let's go. Maybe there's stuff I can pick up. Maybe I can make some wine? I have no use for that. Okay, let's go talk to the dude who guards the holy holies. Oh, he's napping. Oh, yeah. Okay. Time to look at his shit. Skin rug. Clay pots. Idol of some sort. Priest's necklace. Does this guy have any wine in here? Good relations to take sacred articles. Can I get to the Holy of Holies? Oh, he woke up. Okay. Let's load our game. So I'm not getting to the Holy of Holies. Maybe I can get his necklace, though. No, it is my sacred trust! Nope, I guess not. Okay, I'm gonna have to get his necklace somehow. Can I scan it? Can I stun him? I'll just tell them he's napping. Like, dude naps. I wish I could... Clay pots. heads. You seek your assistance. My meditation how is this? Show us this tech that we may study it and reveal to you its secrets. Oh great. I don't know its secrets yet. Here's the tech. Show me secrets in the sky silver shall be revealed to you. Simple force field regulator. Key sequence to deactivate it. Okay, so that helped, I guess. Wish I could get this guy's necklace. I don't know what good it'll do me, but maybe it'll help get the... Can I go this way? Nope. Can I go back to our ship? I'm coming back to the lander. Are you coming? Why not? I'm not coming. Okay, so yes, I can go back to the lander. Maybe there's something on the lander that'll help me. Hey, more. The chief asked for a strong drink. If I could find him a jug of Alterian moonshine, might be able to get him to help us. Nothing else it might 
knock him out for a few hours. Oh, okay. So I think I get the chief drunk and then I can take his necklace for whatever good that'll do me. Activates the fly cycles. Can't do that right now. Ooh, scrolling fancy. Fly cycles take off from here. Access is the computer. Let's do that. Oh my goodness, this is a lot of. There's the puppeteers. Remember, tripodal herbivores. Character is an unpleasant odor. Space-faring race since before humans appeared on Earth. Extreme timidness, considered cowards by more aggressive races. Painstaking observation and experimentation. Extraordinarily suspicious of aliens and distrustful of space travel. Puppeteer is likely to curl up into a tight ball and become temporarily catatonic. Okay, they're scared of physical pain. Stasis field, here we go. Oh uh, no, it's... Outsiders. Pack. No. Grog. Oh, I was expecting the drink. I thought maybe he'd tell me how to make it. Grog native to the planet down. Grog's experience too distinct. Okay. Jack Brennan. Pack breeders. This is all stuff that I'm guessing taken straight from the book. Kazin. Oh, he's a happy Kazin. Kazinti. Man Kazin Wars. Kazano. Dolphin. Hey, look, it's a dolphin. It's got arms. Large brain carnivorous mammal. Dolphins have helped humans make tremendous strides in the study of oceanography. I wonder if they've learned how to say so long and thanks for all the fish. I don't think there's anything on here that's going to help me, though. Protector. Ooh, that guy looks mean. Tree of life. To the pack home world. Okay, here. Let's get rid of here. Lander bay of the ship. Diagnostic of the lander. How does Lander check out Miranda? A few quirks, but nothing I can't fix. Okay, let's get off the deck bay here and see what else is on this Lander. Hey, there's three floors. This Lander's pretty huge. Didn't look this big from the outside. Miranda's quarters. Oh. Okay, let's go to my quarters. Wow, my quarters are funky. Also, I've got the Triforce. This is the chair some saddest to put in your quarters. Obviously, I don't like it. Alien art, who knows. Also, why are, why do I have quarters on this lander? Didn't I like just get on this ship like 10 minutes ago? 
cabinet inside. Hey, oh. Do I have any ale? Oh, yeah. Copy of Moby Dick. It's an actual bound book. Someone will miss it too bad. Okay, so these are someone else's quarters. No, I want to take the book. Just seeing items in here. Whoever occupied your, this room before you borrowed the ship kept them here. Yeah, it's a sweet coffee table. Oh, this thing is really tricky. Attempt of the thought sculpture. It's no work of art, but it didn't turn out too badly. Coffee movie dick. Apparently I don't have time for whatever that blue thing is. Can I literally not take anything? Come on, it's not nailed down. Quinn, put it in your jumpsuit. No. Okay. Please generate a gravity field. It's very comfortable to sleep in. Oh, okay, that's my bed. <laughs> I'm just gonna go to sleep. Is there literally nothing to do in this room? No, every time I try and take something, it just closes the coffee table. Your sofa. Oh, well, well. Let's try something else. Storage area. I bet you there's some booze in here. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Look at these multicolor 2001 Space Odyssey suits. Not even sure it's like Kazinti battle armor. Pressure suit you'll wear if you need to leave the lander in less than ideal surviving. Boots. Couldn't even lift it off the hook. Sweet. I look like Samus. Do 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 Okay, it's not let me do anything. I should take the pressure suit off. It's a relief to be out of the pressure suit. Yoink! Your med kit. Alright, well, let's get to airlock mechanism. No need to use the airlock right now. Well, I'm making progress. I found something to pick up. It's gonna come in handy. Food replicator, here we go. And extra quarters. Let's go to the extra quarters first, but I bet you the food replicator can make me some booze to get the chief drunk. No, he won't go to the other. Okay. Ale. Bottle of ale, perfect. Save our game. Can I get anything else? Coffee? Can I just get everything? Water. No, he just keeps picking it up. But it's not entering my spam by any other name. Oh, that was a huge hunk of meat. It's not making its way to my inventory though, so. Check out what's on level three. That's the bridge. Main command center. 
console that you operate, command console where seeker sits, and this one, oh, that's where Miranda sits. No one sit here except the pilot. Hey, there we go. I can sit down at my station. Also, this is functioning normally. I guess I'm just chilling. Okay. All right, let's go give this ale to the chief. Hopefully it's not some sort of Star Trek synthol or whatever where it doesn't actually get you drunk. I wonder if... No, I can't combine inventory items, good to know. I was thinking maybe I could take like some rubbing alcohol or something from the med kit and uh, add it to the drink. But alas, that's not the case. Do, 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 do. The music here is pretty sweet. I brought you a gift. It is a strong drink from a faraway land. Sweet. No, I need to get the other guy drunk. Ugh. One offer a gift in return. Sky God Servant Moranda shall share a strong drink with me. I have a special gift for you, Sky God Ku In. Daughter, come here. What? <laughs> come on. Galacha, this is Sky God Ku In. He is to receive Rishetra to affirm the relationship between the Sky Gods and our people. This one would be honored. Go forth and bring honor to our people, daughter. Uh, this lowly one is anticipating Rishatra with great joy. Uh, here comes the bow chicka wow wow. <laughs> SMI, Quinn, you horn dog. This will give this one great status. She will have her pick of the young men for husbands after Rishatra with a god. Rishatra will be all the more meaningful between us. It's very warm here by the fire. Would you like to take your clothes off? Oh, the sacrifices I make. Wow, I totally just boned this alien chick. Now I can try and find a way past the tech force field. Why did I have to do that? Let's save this on a new save game just in case later down the line I end up with like space gonorrhea or something. Yeah, Quinn's 200 years old. He doesn't have time to muck around with a big bunch of foreplay there, socks. He just goes straight to it. Can I take the food? You don't need to steal their next meal. Cooking tools. Can I take them? Nope. The churn. Churn some butter. Ah, uh, here we go. Rope is a classic adventure game. Yeah, look at that. That's why I needed to have sex with this alien woman to steal her rope. Because, you know, the replicator couldn't make rope or something. Some sort of cooking pots. A duck or some other waterfowl. It's Chief's daughter, Galacha. You don't want to wake her. Maybe I do want to wake her. Go for round two. I think that's it in here. Wow, I literally had sex with the daughter just to uh, steal her rope. Quinn's an asshole. <laughs> and Miranda's junk this guy under the table. I knew Altyria Nail was strong stuff, but the chief looks like you hit him over the head. 
Count your blessings, at least it's not going to be getting in our way. Better look around and see if there's anything in here you might need. Okay, moving Quinn, we don't know how long the chief will be out. Oh, the ladder. I tried to take that before. <laughs> I just shoved that in my pants. Okay, so I have a rope. I have a ladder. Rock that safeguards this people has passed out as a result of excessive intake of Alterian ale. In other words, he's drunk. Quit fooling around and get away, find a way to get to the stasis box. Okay, I guess that's it. Alright, save my game. Make sure that in case I have to come back. <sighs> okay, so what do I do with a ladder and a rope? Don't want to leave the ladder laying around. Maybe I do, though. Can I like... Can I tie this dude up and steal his necklace? No. I wonder if I can get in this smoke hole. If I put like the ladder between. Can I put the ladder here? I wish it would freaking stay selected. I have to select it every single time. Ha 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 ha! Rock outcropping, what's up? Okay. I totally called it with getting shimmying down there. So I use the rope to get up there and then a ladder down the smoke hole. And then I guess I can steal the necklace, maybe? Okay, rope is too. Maybe I have to use the ladder first. Ha 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 ha! up okay let's go down this one first <laughs> apparently you can't go down that one like what the hell happened it just exploded when I went down it that's why I saved first That has to really, that really has to hurt falling into a blazing kitchen fire like that. Okay. Let's go down the other one. Oh, sweet. Look at this, like, awesome, like, severed lizard head thing over here. <laughs> and there's an arm. Severed human hand. This does not seem like a good sign. Looks like a rabbit. You wouldn't know what this is, but you wouldn't want to run into it in a dark canyon. Some oil has been set alight in the stone bowl. It's quite smoky, but maybe that's the idea. Can't help but thinking the altar looks just the right size for a human sacrifice. Well, let's jump on it. Nope. This might be another lesser god. Taking sacred artifacts would be a bad idea. More offerings for the god figure. Why is it not letting me? There we go. You have no way to carry the fire. High five. Someone must have been caught stealing. I can't take this stuff. 
Okay. Wait, is there anything under here? Some sort of offerings to the idol. You have no use for dry leaves and incense. That's what you think. I need that incense so I can set the mood with the chief's daughter again. Quinn's got his mosey on. Oh, yes! Jacked! A peg with a symbol. Hmm. I wonder if I can put it in the... Whatchamacallit there. The tech. The force field. Yeah, you have no use for that. I'm just gonna leave the rope there as evidence that I broke into the priest's freaking... What in the world is Seeker carrying? I don't know what it used to be, but it looks like Seeker's lunch now. Kidding me? He'll eat that mess? Nothing like the fresh kill taste to a Kisinti. I faced the devil in his own den and bested him in single combat. The great orange sky god Siku has performed a heroic deed for the people of the canyon. I'll take the remains of the beast away to the sky. The screaming devil will not bother the canyon people again. People are very grateful. Now the sky gods will be taken to the sky mother's egg, that which we call the sky silver. I am pleased. I'll return soon to visit the egg of the sky mother. This one will await your return. Okay, so I did all that sneaking around just to get the freaking necklace, and now... Now they're just going to take us there anyway? I wish to see the sky silver. Sky silver lies this way. Come, the tech will decide what you shall see. Here's the tech. If you know its secret, you shall see the sky silver. What up? I'm just going to use this necklace like right in front of him. Hmm. So that's the ring world there. I wonder if this is in the manual. Is this more copy protection? Let's see. Minimum system need 386 SX 16 megahertz or faster processor. MS DOS version 5 or greater. 640 kilobytes of memory. VGA adapter. Hard disk with 10 megabytes available. Whew. Microsoft compatible mouse. 3.5 inch high density disk drive. That tells you how to install your mouse drivers. Problems making more memory available. You may want to create a special Ringworld startup disk. I hated creating boot disks, by the way. <laughs> Socks or a new Mac or an old Mac. My Mac is actually like five years old. How do I get 590,000 bytes of memory available? Man, I miss the days of. Uh, Look at this, even after installing HiMem, I don't have 590,000 bytes free. I miss these days. Uh, that being said, there's nothing about this on here, so... I guess I just have to figure it out. There's a lot of different combinations. Five holes in the tech. Yeah, I know that. Tell me what the symbols are. Maybe you have to use the computer? No, I can't use that. Maybe the computer back on the lander? Hmm. The tech will not let you pass. You must know it's secret to see the sky silver. Yeah, duh. Okay, I still got my necklace. Save. 
Hey, he's awake. This one thanks you for the strong drink. Chief's an alky. Remember when I passed out? That was awesome. <laughs> the pig doesn't fit there. Hey, can't go see his daughter again? Cook room is no place for a sky god. I like how we did it in the kitchen. Oh, he's having a snooze again. No, the time is not yet right. Uh, let's go see if I can talk to Seeker. Like the jingle jangle of the force field just going off. Oh, there's Seeker. He seems really, really close to Miranda. <laughs> Do not tell me you have failed, Quinn. No, Seeker, you only fail when you give up, and I haven't given up yet. Continue your endeavor. Did you get the force field down? No, I must have missed something. Answer has to be in the village. Maybe you'll find something you overlooked. If I look up, like, the ring world will tell me about the, like, orbit around the ring world or something. I, I figure I have to recreate the solar system or something using those different pieces. Starseed? That's cool. Oh, they like fly around the solar system. Cool. No. All right. Let's just load my game. Maybe there's a diagram somewhere that I'm missing on a wall. Maybe it was in the, whatchamacallit room. Oh, Socks, are you playing uh, Wind Waker on Dolphin? I just saw on Discord that it shows you're playing Dolphin. Could be graffiti. Hey, here we go. It's not telling me that, though, anything, though. Oh, oh, that bear skin in the back. Nah, playing on Wii U. <laughs> playing some Smash right now. Oh, what's up? There it is. Okay. Uh, I need a notepad. Of scrap paper. Is there a pen in here? There is. All right, so we got the moon, crescent moon with the star, and we got the earth with the moon, ring worlds in the center, then we got the shooting star in the bottom left, and the big supernova looking star there. Okay. Smash Melee, I take it. Uh, Young Link was my jam in Smash Melee. Uh, which one did I pick up? I think I picked up the crescent. No, no, I picked up the shooting star. That's uh, supernova. Earth's up there. 
Oh yeah, boom. I love how the garter of the tech has one password to remember. He's like, uh-oh, I might forget this. Better write it down. Ooh, yes. Kept safe for a thousand lifetimes. You have done well, son of a thousand. Thank you, Sky God Siku. We shall approach the egg alone. It looks like a crashed ship. This is not a ship of puppeteer design. It seems unlikely that this is the ship which brought Louis Wu and the Chimmy to the ring world. Of course, this is still a significant discovery. In fact, we may be looking at a billion year old artifact of the Tr Thrintum slaver culture. Speaking of slavers, I'm gonna slave my game. Oh, that was bad. That was really bad. Stasis field surrounds a spacecraft. I'm gonna touch it. Nope, won't let me touch it. What are we looking for? I'm going to discover a way, means by which to disable the stasis field. Can I scan it? What is it? This thing's temperamental. Doesn't seem to be any means of external control. We usually assume the Sky Mother's Egg won't be hatching any time in the foreseeable future. At least not until we find a way to defeat a stasis field from the outside. We must return to the lander. I think the computer has an article on stasis fields. I should check that out. It'll probably tell me how to get rid of it. Stasis reflection which we picked up from that ship was one of many. The contents of the stasis field do date back to the culture of the Thrintin slavers, then the others may also. They could contain undiscovered slaver technology, maybe even something to help us get the ship out of stasis. They could contain anything or nothing at all. We must investigate each of them. Anyone could contain the technology we require. Queen Seeker, we have a transmission coming in. That's a puppeteer. What have you accomplished so far? Where are the boxes you have retrieved? Have you opened them yet? Silence, Leaf Eater. It'll take some time to provide a comprehensive report of our activities thus far. What Seeker is trying to say is that we've been running in circles so far. We found a stasis field, but cannot deactivate it. Where is it? Do you have it with you? How did you attempt to deactivate These guys are assholes. Calm down, Hindmost. The stasis field surrounds some type of spacecraft. There are no external controls on the stasis field, and it's far too big to move. We are proceeding to the next coordinates of the next stasis reflection at best speed. I remind you, the very lives and the fate of your species are at stake. Failure is not an option. Do not threaten us, Grass Eater. We will not fail, Hindmost. See that you don't. I will contact you again. I thought the puppeteers were, like, timid. They're like, that guy seems really aggressive. Yeah, I don't trust him either, Quinn. We're nothing more than expendable assets to him. I've already checked over the comm equipment to ensure that Hymos can't monitor us unless his hologram is active. I also made certain that we control reception of his holographic transmissions. You're wise to do so, Miranda. We're approaching the scanner coordinates of the next stasis box. Must refocus down the task before us. Recover this box may be difficult. Stasis box is in a cavern system about 20 meters below the surface. Readings that could indicate life forms down there, and some are fairly large. Cool. What do you say? Shall we land and have a look around? Yes, we should put down in the open area near the cave mouth. I will investigate further. Why you? Why not me or Miranda? Why not all of us, for that matter? Because I am the Kazinti. Now there's an intelligent answer. There's no reason for you to go along. I could cover you in case there's trouble. If a situation were to develop where I was in trouble, you would already be dead. Okay, then you cover me. Just let me go along. Wayne around here will drive me nuts. Miranda, you stay here and see if the Hymos had any other devices installed aboard. Quinn, you may come with me, but stay out of my way. Oh, that's ominous. Big old pile of bones outside the cave. How about we don't go in this cave? Just a thought. Oh, he's got sweet headset on. I'm glad I've been playing for an hour and a half and I have six save games already.
That's just classic Sierra game mentality, though. I don't want to miss anything and have to restart. Skeletal remains. What do you make of it, Seeker? It seems that whoever lives within these caves has a taste for human flesh. Quinn, you will return to the land or I shall explore the caves alone. Why? Because of an old pile of bones? Because I do not need your interference. Humans have poor hunting instincts and make too much noise. Warfare is my profession, remember? I know how to survive. So you say, stay here and survive. I will handle this. Why is it so difficult for you to accept my help? Why should I? I am more than capable of handling this myself. Just sit back here while you troop off on your own into a cavern full of who knows what. See you when you get back, if you get back. Oh yes, cover me. Besides, what could possibly go wrong? This might be the scene that I remember from my... Yeah, I think it is. I think I remember the sequence back when I played the game when I was little. Because there's like a creepy transmission you get with a creepy face. Yeah, I definitely remember this. Extensive cavern system. Artificial, of course, but quite realistic. Do you see any life forms? Not yet, though I do smell them everywhere. What do they smell like? Much the same as all humanoids like food. I was not attempting humor. Odor of decaying flesh is rather pronounced, but more than it is diff that is difficult to determine. Stand by. Detect a movement approximately 24 meters ahead. Target bearing 349 degrees plus 30. Scent is growing stronger. They must be... Seeker, what's wrong? Seeker, we've lost him. Yeah, I remember that uh, face totally scaring the crap out of me. Computer, redisplay from 2240.4. Queen, you have to go after Seeker. You may be in real trouble. Yeah, that was freaky when I was a kid. Like, playing this, and then you get that quick flash of that evil alien thing. Why the tange? Didn't the big jerk take a stunner or let you come along in the first place? You stay in contact. Go build the tiger's tail out of the fire. Seeker may be injured. You better take a med kit with you. Oh, I already have one. Check out Stasis Field while I'm here. Sorry, Seeker. I need to do some reading. Field within which persons or objects not affected by the passage of time. Hmm. These fields have no external controls. Okay, so it doesn't tell me how to get rid of stasis fields. Miranda, I'm heading out now. Stay sharp, I'll monitor you as long as I can. Oh, my captain might be in trouble. I better mosey to this cave. Alright. Let's go. Oh, well, let me pick up the bones. I'm inside the caverns. How's my signal strength? You gave this okay? Now I'm gonna be careful. Don't see anything threatening so far. There's some bad creatures around, but they look pretty harmless. One seems to be stuck in some type of snare. There's some kind of strange odor in here. I'm guessing I should probably save that bad creature. Can't reach the snare.
Oh, there's a wire, it looks like. Heavy cord descends from the ceiling. Oh! Yep, I just fell in the trap. Standing before the Flesh Eater Lord, your knees are wobbly. The Flesh Eater Lord? How do I know its name? Apparently the Flesh Eaters exude a strong pheromone, which is disabling you. So you have a piece of the sky silver. Maybe we could work out some sort of trade for it, huh? Can I load my game? Yeah, I want to do that again. I have a feeling I have to save that bat. One of those puzzles where if you don't save the bat, then you don't get saved by the bat later on or something like that. Okay. Let's walk around that trap this time. There we go. Unable to break the cord. Can I shoot it? Stunner is ineffective in this situation. Small creatures. Is there like a jagged rock or something I can pick up? Oh, shit. I think the game froze. Yep. Yes, I want to close. All right, let's boot that back up again. Hmm, that's not good. If the game's gonna freeze, that might be the end of the stream. Okay. Kind of frustrated I don't have. Can I get like a jawbone or something from out here? Like. Is there anything I can pick up? Did I check the DOS box compat with this game? I did not. Oh, some loose rocks. Here we go. Look at. You don't see much point in taking one? Like, I need something to cut the. I guess maybe if I go and try and cut the thing first. I did not check any DOSBox compatibility. It might be a CPU clock error if, uh, if your CPU is determined to be too fast. So I might try clocking the game down to see if that fixes it. Okay. So I've tested that. It won't let me break the cord. Now let's try. Picking up loose rock. No. I wonder if there was a knife in the village I was supposed to pick up. Well, I guess we continue on for now. I'm going to cycle the game down a bit. Uh, let's see. If I go to emulation, show CPU settings. Okay, so I'm on 486 speed right now. So I'm going to cycle that down to 386. And... Okay. So I've cycled down to 386, and we'll see if that's going to 
Ooh, that's going to chug along is what it's going to do. But it might stop a crash when I get over here. Whew, that smell. I'm feeling a little woozy. Ha, there we go. Jeez, I'm smart. Standing before the flesh eater lord. You need... All right, well, I'm going to cycle back up now because that's really slow if I'm on 386 speed. So I'm going to go up to 486. Stranger he knows. Okay, so let's see what happens when I talk to this guy. Oh, he's a real looker. Sorry, you must be talking too fast. I didn't understand a word you said. Do you ramble on? How about I just take that little old box with me? I've seen a big tiger running around here, Luce. Feast. Oh, lovely. Don't go any extra trouble for me. Let's talk about stasis boxes and overbearing Kazinti cats. Kitty cats. Kazinti cats. Hey, that's a pretty good joke. Food pit. Wait, where are we going? I thought we were talking. Okay, so I'm getting lived. Somewhere. Oh. Was it something I said? Whoa, it really stinks in here. There's our buddy Seeker. It's a foul smelling flesh still clinging to the skull. Too fresh to break easily. So much for attaining a handy weapon. That looks like a weapon. Nope. It's Seeker. What up, Seeker? Are you alright? Wake up. Totally unresponsive. Good thing I have the med kit. Stimulant. Seems a bit groggy still. Use it again! Okay, well, he's better than he was. Oh, there it was! There was totally a thing I could have picked up. Crap. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to do this again. I'm just gonna... Ah, uh, and I have to cycle down. Where's my cycle controls? Yeah, it's funny how much slower it moves. up I like the uh, one like female flesh-eating lord that's just clinging seductively to the stalactite okay these guys are gonna throw me in the pit and then I have to remember to take what looked like a jagged looking rock there And tossed. Yeah, look at this one. Sharp bone fragment. Yoink. All right, let's use the med kit on Seeker. And we'll 
save game. And we'll go climbing. There we go. Okay, let's watch out for this. Can you talk to these guys? It just chitters quietly. Does this thing have like a scam con unit? I wonder if it has a translator on it. Okay. So, let's save the game again. Can I get in the food? Where was the entrance to the food pit? Your food pit is covered by this rock. Ah, shit. <laughs> okay, so I gotta get something to like put in my nose to. Oh, I know what I have to do. Derp. Let's go back out and put a pressure suit on. That way I'm not breathing their weird pheromone that makes me all woozy. Then I can get Seeker out. Then I have to somehow get that box. Uh, just moseying along, no big deal. My big kitty friend is taken over by creatures called like flesh eating lords, but you know, it's all good. Alright, so this should prevent me from getting all woozy. Oh my god, I walk slow in it. The last Metroid is in captivity. The galaxy is at peace. Use the airlock with my suit. Ah. Uh, why can't I climb down the thing? You have no need to use the airlock right now, really? But I do. Okay, so am I not supposed to use the suit? Like, can I just wear the helmet? Is there like, just like a gas mask thing? the whole suit on. Maybe I go chat with Miranda. Maybe she can help me. I 
Maybe I can bring them some meat. I'll try the replicator afterwards. Oh, real big help, thanks. <sighs> I need to find some sort of like rebreather or something, I think. It really seems like that is the answer to the puzzle. No, see, he won't take anything. The only thing I could take was the ale from here. Yeah, there's nothing. Come on, this thing's a circle. Is there like nowhere else I can go? Dock if you're injured. Uh. No use for a probe right now. I could send the probe into like the tunnels. Yeah, it's not gonna let me do that. Can I use like one of those speeder bike things? Hey, here we go. I don't have time to take it out for a spin right now. Okay, so he literally took it out of the airlock, brought it up, sat in it. And then was like, nope, wrong time to use this. Ugh, you suck, Quinn. Quinn's an idiot. For 200 years old, he's pretty dumb. Okay. Oh, well, maybe there's something I'm missing in the cave. I just load. It's faster than walking back there. Okay, so I freed the bat thing. Can I like hold my breath? Scanner reveals nothing out of the ordinary. Scan for that pheromone. suit. What happens if I fall in the trap again? Do they just throw me back down, I wonder? Can I go this way? No. He just goes back out. If I'm stuck for too much longer, I might just end up uh, calling it quits. There's got to be something I'm missing, though. Huh. 
I still think I gotta get like a respirator or a, like the pressure suit makes sense to me. Is there like a hatch or something that I'm missing that has stuff in it? Hmm. Uh. You're leaving me socks? Jeez, you don't want to see how the, uh, how I rescue my seeker from the flesh lords or whatever they're called? Let's see, is there anything kicking around in my. I'll tune in next time. <sighs> same bat time, same bat channel. I can probably get another stream in in the next couple days. I'm just gonna have a nap here. I don't want to use a walkthrough because that just pulls the fun out of the game. No. This door kind of looks like the Microprose logo, like the old Microprose logo. Or one of those like classic um, coffee cups, like the white with the uh, different swirls on it, like neon colored swirls. I can't remember, uh, like cyan and purple. I'm trying to finish this dungeon before I go. I love how you're trying to finish the dungeon and not just, uh, you know, captivated by my intense amazing streaming capabilities totally looks like a coffee cup i'm glad i'm not crazy in that i wonder if those flesh eating lord guys are in the computer nope eventually one of these days i'm gonna find something that i have to look up in the computer and i'm gonna be glad i spent so much time in here Multitasking has become a way of life. Yeah, tell me about it. My wife and daughter are away for the week, and I don't know what to do with myself because I have so much free time. Like foods, tree knock, geode. Like, I don't want to go through these. Stage tree? Ooh, pretty. Not on stream socks. You have to pay me for that. Well, Seeker's dead. We're leaving him. This controls access the computer. Well, access the computer. Miranda, we're leaving. No. Oh, whoa! Ha! <laughs> I glitched out. Look at that. Woo! I turned into the chi- Oh, now I'm just a floating head. <laughs> Sup, Miranda? <laughs> oh, I'm having way too much fun doing this. I like the one where I'm just a floating head or a piece of the chair. <laughs> oh boy. Let's just start the save game. I wonder if there's something I'm missing. I seem to, like, deep in my memory, because I have played this game before, I seem to think that there is a way you could translate what these guys are saying. But the only thing I can think of is the scanner. Uh, they just, yeah, they just put me in the food pit. 
distance away from the main cavern, your head begins to clear. Oh, look! Oh, sh hey, oh, look at this. Can you help us? The eaters threw us in here. Do you know a way out? Me, you helped. To you, give. Oh, sweet, he gave me something. Protect from eater smell. Me, show way out. Come through hole, way out. Out here, go. There we go. Eaters eat there. Eaters eat here. Same thing. Good point. Take my dose of this stuff and save some for Seeker. Sweet. Anti-pheromone drug. Can I give it to Seeker now? Perfect. Hey, he's awake. Hey, Seeker, are you all right? All seems in order. I'm still a bit groggy. You look awful. What happened to you anyway? One of the creatures bit me during the struggle. I was in, evidently injected with some sort of drug. I didn't even put up a fight. My mind went blank and I just let him take me. I think we underestimated these guys. I recall a certain blankness as well. Do you know why they're keeping us here? Let me put it this way. I don't think we're in a prison. I think we're in a pantry. Charming. Kazinti make poor leftovers. You do have a sense of humor. What I do not have is a plan for escaping. At least we have some allies. I helped one of the back creatures escape from a snare. Gave me some sort of antidote to the flesh eater pheromone. That's what brought you around. I also have a way out of here. Let's do what needs to be done. I do not wish to remain here longer than necessary. Kick ass. Hey, it's my back creature. Can you help me find a way into the flesh eater's throne room? Show secret way. Nice. Oh shit, I've just restored my game. Damn it. Okay, well, I know what to do now. What's the difference between F5 and F6? Alright, so I took my dose. Give this one to Seeker. talk to Seeker anymore. What about the stasis box? I didn't get it yet. I'll remain here. Alright, save current game. Emulators generally use F5 and F6 for save load states as well. Well, in Seer games, it was always F5 and F7. F1 was help. F2 was sound off and on. F3 was uh, retype the last thing you typed if it was a CR game that you had to type in. Can't remember F4. F5 was save and F7 was restore. So F F6 uh, being restore is kind of freaking me out on this one. All right, let's see if that pheromone worked. Shit. Flesh of your scatter now that you're able to use your stunner. Hell yeah! Captain Kirk up in here. Okay, let's crack this open. Seeker, can you jump up to this hole? You insult me by asking, Quinn. What about the stasis box? I didn't get it yet. I'll remain here until you return with it. So this guy was all gung-ho to do everything himself, and now he's like, meh, you do the heavy lifting. I'm gonna stay in the food pit. Okay. What up, bad creature? Big pillar push on side. This 
big pillar? Which which big pillar, bud? This one? Oh, uh, they totally just like mirrored this, hey? It's the exact same background, but flipped. Because that's the exit to the cave on the other side. That's hilarious. I mean, I don't blame them considering how much freaking work they've... There's so many different backgrounds already in this game. Yeah, right there, right down the middle is where the split is. They've done a little bit of work around here to kind of mask the fact that it's mirrored. All right, thanks for uh, kicking around, socks. How many people? I got three people watching, including socks. Well, I'm glad that there's other people watching too. I'll stream for a little bit more, but I've been at it for two hours, so I might be uh, giving, calling it quits soon. Where do I push? Dude told me to push on the big pillar. Big pillar, push on side. Ah, here we go. Hail. Oh, nice. There's no one here. Down. Pillar formation has to look for the throne. Let's get the stasis box. Oh shit. I wonder if I needed that skull or whatever cracked. Mm. Too late now. I'll use a different save game when I save it. That was an arrow skeep. A seeker. Danger from the flesh eaters was greater than I anticipated. We are indeed fortunate you performed well for a human. Can I interpret that as a thank you? Do as you like, Quinn. Considerable distance to travel to reach the vicinity of the next stasis boss. We can take the lander no closer than 200 kilometers. Got another transmission from Hindmost coming in. Progress report. What have you accomplished? I know you must have at least one box by now. What does it contain? I've recovered one small stasis box, but there's been little time to attempt to open it. This is box we are currently approaching is on the plateau in the center of a sunflower field. Such are the difficulties we face. Make no excuses. I will have results. I warn you, do not underestimate me. This is box which you have retrieved from the flesh ears has been stowed in the lander bay. Right, try and release the field and see what's in the box. I have no intention of handing whatever technology might be in these boxes over to the puppeteers without knowing what I'm giving up. Have we got anything in the computer that might about stasis fields that might help us? Yeah, we did check. I checked it already. Let's see what we can do with a little old fashioned ingenuity first. ideas on what to do now. There are no visible controls on this field. My specialty is hyperdrive, so I'm not very current on stasis field dynamics. If anybody has any suggestions, I'm willing to listen. All right, well, I think I'm going to stop it there. Thank you to everyone who is watching. I appreciate that. Uh, I plan on hopefully trying to stream a little bit more over the next couple days, and I will continue to try and uh, make my way through Ringworld. Progress has been good, and uh, I feel like I might be able to actually get through this without looking at a walkthrough. So thank you very much for watching my bumbling, and uh, I will see everyone later.